Today guys, we will be making this awesome flame in Blender and it is really easy to make. I mean, it's just a few steps with the textures and play with magic and all that. And you can easily animate this as well, control how much the frame you want, get a close up good shot, get a far shot of it and many more. So let's just get into it. So first of all, we'll just take a simple plane in our scene and rotate it to get it on a 90 degree on the x-axis press n and we will change the dimension of the scale so for the x scale i'll set it to 0.008 that would do and for the y and z we'll set it to 0.015 and that should do now why did i make it very small the main reason being because of this stove right up here so we need to get the same scale of the flame and that is the main reason let's just hide the stove back again let's just focus on this now the main task would be to make the flame be using the textures on this plane but the issue is it will be flat you will be asking mr idiot youtuber the flame will be flat so what is the solution for that i will tell you later in the video for now we will just make that flame and we are only gonna make a single flame just like right here let's just go back selecting this let's just divide our panel from right here into two parts and change this one into a shader editor now right we are here selecting this plane and click on new and we don't need this principle bsdf just get rid of it the first thing that we would like to do is get that stretchy ball shape thingy don't take me wrong but we need that effect so to get that we will use a gradient texture let's add a gradient texture to our scene so let's click shift a and click on search and then type gradient then you will get the gradient texture now you can click this color into the surface and you should see the gradient which is linear if we set it to spherical now it's spherical but we need to fine tune it more selecting the gradient texture press ctrl t if the ctrl t doesn't work for you what you have to do is go to edit preferences here in the add-ons you have to just search for node wrangler and make sure it's checked now what we have to do is set the location of our sphere well let's just change the scale to 3 and the x and y to minus 1.5 but we also have to do one more thing which is connect the uv to the vector so we get this in the center the value which is 1.5 is getting doubled in the scale so if we change the y value like we want to make it 6 and we want it to be in center again we have to change the y value here to the half of that so let's change it to minus 3 and it's in center again what we need right now is make it more flatter so for that let's just increase the scale on the x to something like 4 would do maybe 5 that's good enough and then change on x to minus 2.5 and then enter and we get that now to adjust the spherical shape let's just add a color ramp we will need this because with this we can adjust however much we want of this so it will be required later we want it to look a little bit like a flame because we are seeing just nothing for that we will add two nodes which is called emission and the other one will be transparent bsdf make sure the transparent bsdf is on the top only that way we'll get the transparency in this to connect them we'll need another node which we we'll call mix shader and connect it to this connect bsdf this emission the last task will be to connect the color ramp color to this factor now nothing is happening that is because we have to set something in materials change the blend mode to alpha blend and now we have that transparency for the shadow mode we can set it to none if you like you can change it to whatever you want for now let's just change the color to something like a blue flame and change the strength to 10 we'll change the preview to a rendered and see what we are getting here and also what we can do is go into the render and click on bloom so it looks more flamey we got the shape now let's add the effect of flame so search for noise texture and what we are going to do is before we connect our this sphere we will add a mix color in between so that we can connect our noise texture right here and set the mode to linear light as you can see we get this irritating effect we don't want these additional effects around our flame so to fix that we'll add a node called math drag it here right between the factor and the mix color so we'll add this node and change the mode to power for the power we'll change the exponent to about 5 
and also we will change this really value here so we can get more flame now we have the flame and it looks more like flame because of the distortion and all that thing and it looks really good now comes the part where we will get this animation of our flame so for that we'll add a node which is uv map and then we'll add a vector map plus we'll add a value node value node will help us to animate it infinitely first we got to do is set it to multiply and connect the vector and connect the uv right here we want to adjust the values of how harsh and how soft we want the effect to be so we'll just set it to one for right now let's just duplicate this and click it right here and change it to add because we are going to add the value which will continuously change so that our animation goes on automatically we don't have to keyframe it and just duplicate this set it to multiply okay, connect the value here and connect the vector to here so value will be set to hash frame divided by 24 and enter and we want the animation not on the all axis we want it only on the y axis so it goes in the downward direction which we don't want so let's just change it to minus one so it goes on the upward direction because flame goes up not down if you are looking for a close-up shot you can make your flames more detailed if you are not looking for a close-up shot you can go far and you still see the effect very clearly that sets our flame effect is all done let's also fine-tune how our flame looks so basically a flame at the edge here almost looks like a yellow I've, I, as i've seen let's just see a photo of it as you can notice right here some of the flames at the edge have this yellow color not all but maximum has that you can get it as by your liking at the start it can be light blue and at the end it can be a dark blue so for that we will add a color ramp and we'll connect it to this emission color let's just change the color to something of a light light blue and this one should be a darker blue it's like the surrounding it's not working properly because we have to give it some coordinates on where to apply and how to apply for that we'll use another gradient texture and we'll set it to linear connect the color to the factor and we should get some result no result well that's fine we just connect this to a texture coordinate let's just adjust it we can clean it a bit now we have to find out where is it is exactly so it is right there now we can rotate it z-axis would work let's just set it to 90 enter and now let's try moving it let's just find the sweet spot yep there it is i can set it to minus 90 instead that would do also the trick now it's a bit too much sharp we can adjust that as well changing the mode of the piece line and we can adjust this like that so we get that flame exactly and what we can also do is add another one at the last we can just change it to a yellow and add another one make it dark blue you can fine tune it and get your proper result that is perfect for me that is what i want now we are done with that but if this thing is all flat and it won't look good anywhere else to fix that we have a solution that is to duplicate this with shift d and rotate it on the z-axis like that and rotate on a 90 degree now if we see it from far there's still variations in that now let's just duplicate this rotate on z-axis like 45 degree you can you can repeat the same again again and that should do and from far it looks perfect from close almost perfect when it's animating you won't notice the change that much when you're paused you can see these things which are flat surfaces but when it's animating that's not an issue now to make it even better what you can do is selecting all press ctrl g which will join them all by pressing ctrl j now duplicate them scale it like this now we have joined them lastly what we can do is go to edit mode and add edge loops to each but we should have done that sooner so let's just go back before duplicating let's just go edit mode press ctrl r bring edge loop and set it to something like that i can even scale it more to this is, this is two and this will be minus one and that should do shift duplicate rotate in z 45 shift r repeat the command that's perfect you know what i would like to get rid of this one that is perfect for me now we can select this and press ctrl j join them go into edit mode go to wireframe select these one 
go out and enable the proportional editing and move them out a little bit you can edit it in however the way you want but i would like to settle to something uh, like this for me now i can even scale it on the y-axis how i want to adjust it however i want this i want the flame to be this looks perfect for a gas stove now i will go to the top view and let's just bring it out something like this but before we make a duplicate let's change the mode for duplicating and rotating to 3d cursor shift duplicate rotate on z axis 15 would do and shift r to repeat and there you go it looks really awesome guys and it's animating how cool is that now let's just bring our gas stove so we can you know let's just scale it top view so we can use the benefit of it just look at that it looks really good i would like these frames to be bigger this should be perfect for me i would like to have some more noise on it that should do now that is for a close-up shot if i increase the amount that is good for a close-up shot because you can see those details but for a long shot the values need to be lower now to make it even more better you can add some effects let's just add a mesh and it will be a cylinder let's scale it down something about that change our bounding to bounding center okay scale it down so we want those effects around these flames so let's just delete the top face of it even the bottom face and let's just add some edge loops so we can fine tune it make this bigger something like this with the proportional editing yeah that's perfect shade smooth now we need to apply materials to this as well so we'll use the same material yeah it's the same one but the effect is set to spherical we'll just get rid of this color oh wait this is happening because the reason is because it's sharing materials with the other so we click on this number 30 that means the material was linked now it's not linked we we can get rid of this so it's only affecting this cylinder so let's just change the spherical to linear and we will use generated let's just fine tune it more scale to one let's reset everything to zero let's just rotate it on the y by 90 degree enter make it come down so we need to add two blacks on one on the left and one on the right now let's edit the position with the x yeah there it is the color now that is too strong make it weaker change the color to match it yep it's matching what do you say if we fine tune it more what we can do is change the animation angle so it is going on the y just going up i guess yeah that's good you can increase the number for the y axis give it more randomness like this and also increase the scale would do also increase it for the x axis as well so when it's animating from far it looks good for close up it's not great you need to find it even more like this increase the value of x and y that looks good select all these shift duplicate them scale them down add one in the center as well there are many ways you can animate a flame so just select any one of them so you can change the y value and just make it go down all the way down and bring it back up so it looks like it's animating like that you can do that that is the one thing and also you can play around with the color ramp make your flame shorter and smaller as per animation you can just slide this black one and it will make your flame smaller that is mid flame that is high flame as per your liking that is the second way you can animate of course you can animate it by selecting on this position and press i that will insert a keyframe but we don't want that right now the last thing would be if we are close enough this looks really weird so we can do is crank it up so it doesn't look that weird and there's some effect going on and if we are far it's just still and we can lower it down to two so we see that wave effect from far as well so that depends upon the shot ah uh, shot from far that this would be the setting if shot from close we need to crank this up same for the flame selecting the flame crank it up this one as well not too much that would be too much this would do now the flame looks so real also 
you can do is go to the materials and change the mode to alpha hashed that will give you a different result now you have to reduce it down so that we can get those result i like this it's kind of a stylized effect something that you don't usually see and i love it from far it looks really great just a blurry effect on flame so that was all for this tutorial i guess guys if you have any doubts you can just comment down in the section below and peace out